How's everybody this morning? Amen. Y'all feeling good this morning? Amen. If you're not feeling good this morning, just start praising God. You start praising God, then you should start being feeling good. Start praising God with your trust in him. Amen. In a time like this, we need the Lord. Amen. In a time like this, oh Lord, in a time like this, oh Lord, in a time like this, oh Lord, I need the Lord. Down 
what? Now I know you can't but you still all of us. It's not the name of Jesus Lord, I want to thank you, thank you, Jesus, for my journey. Oh, you brought me from a long, long way. And I want to thank you, thank you, Jesus, for my journey. I believe you had a meal this morning. You had clothes to put on your back. Everything that you've done today, it was allowed by Jesus. So that's enough to say thank you. Amen. We gonna, we're getting off to a pretty good start this morning. And we're going to just continue to go on lifting up the name of Jesus. We're going to turn it into the hand of the voice of the Bethel. Give them a hand, please.
Hallelujah, 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 hallel
Hallelujah. Hallelujah, church. Hallelujah. Amen. The presence of God is all over this church. Amen. I can feel it in my spirit. Amen. I had to sit there and just give him the praise that he is so worthy of. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Everyone standing, go with me to Isaiah chapter 9, verse 6. Short, short verse. Isaiah 49. Isaiah 9, verse 6. I don't know what I'm going to watch it. Isaiah 9, verse 6. Amen. Glory to his name. God is a good God. Amen. 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 Jesus. Hallelujah. All right. Are you are we ready? Amen. Real quick. But unto us a child is born. Unto us a son is given. And the government shall be upon his shoulder. And his name shall be called Wonderful. Counselor, the mighty God, the everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. Amen. The Word of God for people, God. Amen. Good evening, church. How are everybody doing this morning? I don't look like we have, we have a few bills, but everybody's still family. From what I see, good clap. But y'all know the belt door swing open on, open on. Yeah. So I just want to go a few hours of service. <laughs> Yeah, right. 
Give God praise and also being uh, after being after service is soon to be keeps the staff free. Maybe Christmas dinner, so everybody stay behind the seat, sit down and have some with me. Amen. Praise God. Good to see everybody that's here this morning. Praise God. God is good. And all the time. Amen. Y'all know why I'm standing this this time. It's giving time. Get your love, get your touch, if you will, love it. in your hands, standing to your feet, if you will. You can't beat God giving. No matter how you try. The more you give, the more he'll give back to you. Good measure. Press down. Shake it together. Run it over. Let me see the hands of everybody in here. Got some run over room. If you got some run over room, stand to your feet, whatever you got. If you don't have anything, hold up to keep your hand. Believe it. God to put something in it the next time. Amen. Pull your hands up, repeat after me. Just give thy gift. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. I do freely give. The Lord. Bless this, my giving, in Jesus' name. Father, bless all three of us. We have the youth of the end of the body. In Christ's name, we pray. Amen. In the hands of the virtues and the causes of heaven.
chapter number one. I pray to God that I'm able to deliver this word that he's given me to you. Just like he has given it. St. Luke chapter 1 verse 37. St. Luke chapter 1 verse 37. For with God, nothing shall be impossible. Read that with me one more time. For with God, nothing shall be impossible. Before you take a seat, look at your neighbor and tell your neighbor, I'm living in the impossible. You may be seated. For a backup scripture to strengthen that particular scripture, Mark chapter 9, verse 23, Jesus said unto him, If thou canst believe, all things are possible to him that believe. I'm living in the young. God is bigger than our God. Did you, did, you, did you hear? God is bigger than our God. There are moments in life when our faith can work. Where thou creeps in and we question if God can truly Help us in our service. Can you do it? Will you do it? I doubt it. But when I doubt preaching, God is bigger than I doubt. Theologian C.S. Lewis said, Faith is the art of holding on to things your reason has once accepted in spite of your changing mood. Even when I don't feel like it, I got to keep believing. Even when I can't see God, I got to hold on to it. Even when I can't feel nothing, I got to have the hope that all things are working together. Faith is the heart of the when you're reading and what accepted in spite of your changing mood. We know we got to move, no. There are days we feel like, there are days we don't feel like. There are days we feel like love, there are days we feel like how we ball with no body. That don't make you saved, it don't make you unsaved. It's just make you a person. But if we're living in the impossible, the impossibility is nothing, and the impossibility is nothing with God, and our God is a God of possibility. Impossibility is nothing with God. The word impossible. The one word, impossible, occurs nine times in the King James Version of the Bible. And most of the references tell us that this word doesn't appear in God's regular vocabulary. God didn't use the writers use it. Because nothing is impossible with God. Listen to what Matthew chapter 17, verse 26 says. Nothing will be impossible. Matthew 19 and 26 says, with men, this is impossible. But with God, all Man. things are. Man. Get out the door. Come on. Mark 10 verse 27 says, with men, it is impossible. But not with God. But not with God. Luke 1 and 37, with God, nothing will be impossible. Luke 
18 and 27 says, The things which are impossible with men, come on, are uh, what? Possible with God. God wants his children to walk in the realm of possibility. Reality tells me I may not be healed. I may be sick. That's reality. But reality does not match up with possibility. Because reality says I'm not healed, but possibility says the possibility is there that God can heal. Think Deacon Job. Reality may say, amen, I don't have a nice car. I don't have a nice home to me. Reality may say, my family may not be safe. But the possibility says, God can give me anything according to the desires of my life. I know we live in a chosen and a difficult world, but possibility is available to every single one of us. As you can see in, 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 in the, the text scripture, if you read the whole book, you find there's a man that has a son that is an epileptic. And at times he falls into the fire. And he brings his son to Jesus. And everybody has been saying, Amen, because of what they see. There is no hope. There is no chance of deliverance. But he brought it to Jesus. And when he brought his son to Jesus, what did Jesus tell him? Jesus said to him, if thou canst believe. I want to see the hands of everybody that's a believer in the house. If you are a believer, there is nothing God can't do for you. Come on, somebody. Uh, that job, that, that job that you striving for, and, and somehow or another, Amen. I, I hear, I hear the voice of God speaking to me this morning. I hear oh, God saying, "Thank you." That must be somebody just looking for some back pay. Somebody that haven't got all your money, Amen. And God saying, "Back pay." Yeah, yes, I, I hear God saying, Amen. The possibility, Amen. Somebody said you can't have it, you'll never get it. But I hear God saying, You're getting ready to get your back pain. Every child of God in here ought to be claiming back pain. Everything Satan has stole from you, you need to be telling them every day, I am getting back everything you took from me because God promised me all things are possible if I can believe. Who the grace given to me to every man that is among you, not to think of himself more highly than he ought to think, but to think soberly. According to God has dealt to every man the measure of faith. Amen. So you gotta have the faith that he do the eleven and one say now faith him. In the hollow people. Now they hear the substance. Touch somebody and say substance. A being that touch the person on the other side, be. Now point at yourself and say, hope for. So whatever's going on inside of you, it's possible if you can't believe. Amen. The problem is not God can't do it. The problem is we don't believe. Come on, somebody. Yeah, I heard somebody say, Amen. I feel good. As long as I'm feeling good. But I start feeling bad when I feel good. Because I'm not taking my how bad I'm going to feel when I start feeling bad again. What about all the bad feeling? You got a forgot about God is the one that made you feel good. Believing is a choice. Believing is a choice. Nobody can force you to believe against you. I know God. I know God can. Yeah, everybody 
I know he can. But do you believe? Can we? Yeah, he is. We know God created the heaven and the earth. We know God got all power in hand. Amen. But that's heaven match up with what you believe. Do you believe that your circumstances God can control? Yes. Yes, you're going to have some good days. You're going to have some bad days. You're going to have some days you feel like you don't even want to get out of bed. Come on, somebody. You're going to have some days you don't want to look at nobody. And don't want nobody to look at you. You're going to have some days, amen, when it feel like I've been better off and I haven't even been born. But out of all the circumstances you go through, you got to stop thinking, realize God is the God of my my situation is in God's hands. God said it. I believe it. Then I'll accept it right there. And then believe it because it comes to you. You got to believe it. It don't come just because you said I believe it. It don't come just because somebody said you got to believe it. I can't force you, Brother Johnny, to believe you. I can tell you, God, amen, he can do anything with him. I tell you what I had, I told you this one. I had a brother, and I won't call no name, and I had a brother, he used to lie so much. You can believe nothing. If he told you it rain, you better come outside and make sure ain't nobody got a hose pipe. Because he's not like that much. Amen. But see, what I like about God, God never lies. Oh, somebody, God never lies. If God said he's going to do it, book on it. God said he's going to deliver you, book on it. If God said he will get even with your enemy, book on it. Because he said he will even make your enemy be at peace with you. You got to learn. I know a, I know a young lady. She's living in Ohio now. Girl couldn't say she couldn't carry two in a month. But every opportunity she got up, for who she was trying to say. People were laughing at her. She couldn't hold her tune. Couldn't, the musician couldn't find her. Amen. And they were saying, I don't know what she had. Amen. I don't know what key she is. So she didn't know what key she was in. But she kept trying. She kept saying, I'm praying for God to anoint my Lord. And everybody was saying, there ain't no knowing to take that. That ain't nothing but no. One day she got up to sing right there on 15th Street in Anderson, Alabama. She got up one night to sing and everybody just Because out of her desire and out of her uh, believing and out of her praying and asking God, God anointed her for to sing. Amen. If you got a gift in you, God said a gift and a calling, it would not be bitter. But you got to believe that God can cultivate in you. There are many gifts. Many gifts. But we're living in possibility, impossibility. Believing in what opens the door a possibility. Non belief gives you no. Possible. It's time to work on our capacity to believe. Everybody always say it out loud to yourself right now. I believe. God, please help my unbelief. Amen. Let me let me go ahead and get out of the way this morning. Let's look at some of the impossibles in the Bible. No walls. A righteous man. But he believed in the impossible. He preached year in and year out. It's gone rain. Everybody made fun. Somebody said, my daddy told me that old man was preaching that when he was a but he never changed his message. He kept preaching, it's going on rain. Amen. And because he stood on the word of God, one day it started 
the rain. Amen. But one thing or the other, he had to believe what God said. And if God said it, he's also able to bring it to pass. Joseph was the son, amen, of Jacob. Amen. Twelve both. Amen. But Joseph was the one that believed God. Can I get a witness here? Amen. And he was his father's favorite, and his brothers were jealous of him. Amen. When they learned about his dream, they sought to destroy him. But if you are a believer, amen, no weapon formed against you shall prosper. Yeah, that children stood on the word of God. And the dream he dreamed came to pass. Why? Because he lived a, a life of the impossible. Amen. Moses was the leader of the Israelites. Amen. He was on the run for his life because he committed murder. Amen. But when God spoke to him out of a burning bush, God made him a leader of his people. Uh, yes, uh, and they were traveling down at the same man at the road uh, to deliverance. Uh, God proved to him that uh, if you can only believe, uh, all things are possible. Uh, here he is now, uh, standing at, at the Red Sea. Uh, amen. Uh, you can hear the people behind him uh, saying, No, listen, uh, you brought us all the way out here. Uh, the child in the Red Sea. Amen. But Moses was a, a believer in the impossible. Yes. So he raised his rod and the Red Sea stood up and they went across on dry ground. That's an impossibility that only God can do. Yeah, uh, look at Joshua uh, as he walked around uh, Jericho Wall. Uh, somebody said uh, this wall is it built uh, to what man uh, can penetrate. Uh, and so many feet wide uh, and so many feet deep. And uh, yes, uh, and nobody could penetrate uh, the walls uh, of Jericho. Let me tell you something today. Satan uh, will build a wall around you uh, and call to you uh, not to see God uh, for your circumstances. But you gotta be a believer uh, like Joshua was. Uh, Joshua is saying that there's a march uh, around the throne. Yes, let us go around seven times, and on the seventh day, let us go seven times, on the seventh time, let us begin to rejoice and praise the Lord. Right. If you want to walk, come down, you got to believe that in the impossible. Yes, I've been to go. Walking in the impossible. 
Can you see? All the unbelievers uh, said something wrong uh, with this man called Jesus. Uh, he already said uh, he ain't dead. Uh, he slipped uh, something wrong with his mind. Uh, but he wasn't believing Jesus. Uh, he believed that uh, if he just believed it, uh, I can do it. Uh, he said, show me uh, for your lady. And, and when he got to the grave, uh, well done, uh, uh, the Bible said uh, he called him uh, Lazarus uh, Comfort. Uh, and I know uh, out in the graveyard uh, there were more than one man uh, in the grave. Uh, and this was out of top of uh, Jesus, not you. Uh, another man of top of uh, not you. Uh, another man of not you. Uh, but Lazarus uh, come forward. Uh, you can see it uh, hot before uh, in his great clothes. Uh, Jesus, uh, the believing Jesus, uh, said, Take them great clothes uh, off of him uh, and let it go free. Uh, when you've been walking in the Lord, uh, when you've been bound uh, and need to be set free, uh, when you need the Lord uh, to come to your rescue, uh, go to him, uh, go to him. Uh, Spirit of the Lord. And if you want the Lord to come to your rescue, uh, stop down and, and start believing. Tell yourself, uh, I believe that God can and God will. Uh, I believe that all things uh, are possible uh, to them that believe. Right, huh? I believe right. that I'm coming out. Uh, can I get somebody? To jump to your feet and say, I'm coming out. I'm coming out. I'm getting set free. Free from myself. Free from birth. Free from God. I'm coming out. I believe. I believe. I stand on the word. I stand on the truth. For if God said it, I believe it. And that said, I stand on the promises of God. I stand on what God said. I got anybody here as I get ready to take my seat. I got anybody in the house today that can stand to your feet. They said, I'm going all the way with the Lord because I believe. The car can't do anything but fail. I believe that he's still working miracles. I believe that he's still healing the sick. I believe that he's still delivering those I believe that he's still healing cancer. I believe that he's still on the blind eye. I believe that he's still telling bank accounts. I, I believe that God can. God can. I, I believe that. Somebody jump to your feet and shout, I believe. Push the other door. 
Can nobody make me doubt God? You can doubt me. Forget about doubt me. Don't doubt God. He's able. Can you make me doubt God is a good God. will never change. God is a good God. That's why as I am praising Him, I keep on telling you. Go! Oh. 